begin. The Carlin Curry Cup continues its compelling journey this afternoon in the City of Roses, where we find the Wolves closing in on the champions of 2019, the Toyota Cheetahs, reaching for the dream of a semi-final spot. Today they host their provincial rivals, the Tafel Lager Griquas, at Toyota Park in Bloemfontein. The weather is fine in Bloemfontein, a slight breeze and the weather will drop, the temperature rather will drop as night approaches. That minimum temperature of 2 degrees Celsius is no joke. But that should have no impact on the quality of rugby that we'll see between these two sides and it is a desperate match for both, as was mentioned in the build-up by Sam Lutidi and Warren Brosnahan. And there is Toyota Park in Bloemfontein, which has hosted so many famous nights. Earlier this afternoon, the Pumas just missing out against the Bulls. They were leading for a long period in that match and will be disappointed not to have secured themselves that third spot. They could have accelerated ahead of the other pretenders to the semi-final positions, including Western Province, the Lions, Cheetahs and the Greek was. It is going to be a mad scramble to see who will make the top four at the end of this Carlin Curry Cup season. And there is the evidence. The Greek was on 26 points. And although the Cheetahs begin today, propping up the bottom of the log. They are only five points away from their opposition this afternoon. Seven points away from third position. Province playing the Lions later, and the Lions have played an extra match. The permutations are salivating. Any which way you look at them. The Bulls, on the other hand, have really kicked away at the top of the log, reigning champions as they are. They'll have the rest of the team shaking in their boots as they're looking good to host a home semi-final. And if they win that, of course, the home final awaits. And here in the bowels of Toyota Stadium, the nerves must be jangling in this cheetah side. The Greek was, on the other hand, flying high in the first half of this season. They knocked over all sorts of opposition, and here are some of their heroes. Edwin Cater signed for the Sharks after this Curry Cup season. He has been scoring tries galore, seven tries in the Curry Cup this season. Jonathan Franker with 43 Curry Cup appearances for the Greek was. He has been here forever. Since 2013, he's been representing similarly Idris Aronser on the bench with 53 appearances. George Whitehead has 44 appearances Appearances for Greek was and 110 points in 2021. He is absolutely excelling. Stephen Fulhamsa provides experience in the lock position. And here are your cheaters. Victor Sekakete, one of five players retained from Sunday's loss to the Sharks. The others, Clayton Blomachis, Craig Berry, Malcolm Yard, and Andisa Ntsila. The cheaters forced into rotation due to the congestion of fixtures that they have. They have Tian Mayer waiting on the bench with plenty of experience, but the main name to look at whenever he's on a cheater sheet is Ruan Pinar, son of this soil, product of Grey Blomfontein and captain of the cheaters. It is a must-win situation for this Cheetah side as the time is ticking down on their Curry Cup season. Just three matches to go, including this one, and they play again this weekend. So fatigue will be a factor. As for the Greek was, they need to find that form that took them up the Curry Cup log at the beginning of the season. They're coming off back-to-back -back losses to the Lions and the Bulls and then a bye this weekend. So perhaps they will be refreshed for the challenge of their derby match against their rivals from Bloemfontein. Ruan Stienkamp has been leading this team with a plum product of Monument, one of those large, hard-running forwards that Monument tend to produce year after year. Hanru Sergel and Gideon van der Merwe both made their name in the Varsity Cup and will be an effective loose trio against Nsila, Pocomela and Davis, who have been stalwarts for this cheetah side this year. And as Ruan Pinar prepares to lead his side proudly onto the field, let me turn to my right and welcome Warren Brosnahan. Warren, you were down on the field earlier. There must be a lot of tension between these two sides. If we had some fans in the stands, we would feel that tension as well. Yeah, certainly, and what a disappointment that we don't have those fans here at Toyota Stadium. A moment for Ruan Pinar, the captain. It's great that he's coming back into this team, and there have been lots of changes made, made to the Toyota Cheetahs. 10 of them and it's the stage in the season when you really want to start garnishing and gathering a little bit of momentum both these teams haven't had that momentum that want to kick off here tonight we've got uh, our referee for today he's replacing Yaku Paper Griffin Colby will be the referee and Yaku Paper going into quarantine with the rugby championships coming up and great moment for, for Yaku Paper and it should be an interesting game this between these two teams. Obviously, we just spoke about the, the Greek West team. They had a lot of momentum early on in the season. They need to bring that back and start getting a few victories.
Bill Krause, the TMO, Yoki Paper, formerly an administrator right here at the Cheetahs during some successful years. We are almost ready for kickoff. Clayton Blomichis. What kind of day will he have? He can excite or disappoint those who support the Cheetahs, depending on the mood that he arrives. But he is the facilitator of this team. 68 appearances, just the 10 tries. But the amount of tries that he creates in attacking play that he creates for the Cheetahs is par excellence. Yeah, what he's particularly good at is the restart and drop kick from this position here. He spends a lot of time practicing it to drop it in the right spot and area for his team to chase. Up it goes from Blomages, chasing hard are the Cheetahs. It is well secured by the Tafalaga Griquas. Stefan Ungerer complains, but it's a turnover right away. What a start for the home team. Now he spoke about the kick, and if you can if you can tackle the ball carrier inside the opposition 22, hold him there and get a man over the ball, win the penalty, you've really achieved something, and that's very well done by the Cheetahs. They declined the kick at goal. It was Martinus van der Merwe, the man that won the penalty. As Henry Sergio bringing the ball up, shows that up, goes in and wins the early penalty. Great ball to the front of the line out, Drosti, the receiver. And another penalty to the Cheetahs. Wouldn't be surprising if they knocked this back into the corner, but it speaks to a team that has drawn a match this season, 44 points all against the Lions right here on their home ground. Turning down two shots at posts right at the start of the match, kicking for the corner. Yeah, you referred to that game. It was an absolute rip-roarer, that one, with some amazing tries scored between the Lions and the Cheetahs. Are you in out? You're in the red zone now. This is the strike zone. You want to go and get the points. Manus van der Merwe looking for Jean Drosti again, and this is Antila breaking away. Fighting his way to ground. Pinar van der Merwe. That's a fine ball to Davis. The offload is brilliant. Popomelo tries to keep the momentum and get over the line, but he will be held up. Outstanding energy early on from the Toyota Cheetahs. Now, on the build up, you mentioned the loose forwards from the Toyota Cheetahs, Aiden Davis. And Dita and Sila, we saw him with the initial carry, Junior Pocamela, the man in the number seven jersey. He was the one that went over the line, just held up. Positive start from the Toyota Cheetahs. Is this coming around the corner? A little offloads and interplay between the loose forwards, all three of them involved in that build up. Crouch. Bye. The Greekos have the heavier pack. Let's see if that makes a difference. Absolutely no movement from either side. Waiting for a chink in the arm of the Cheetahs as it wheels. Pinar gets it away. Here's Bratz. Simple as you like, the opening score of the match. Using a big blind side there, did the Cheetahs. Strong work from David Brits. Get that left shoulder, the left wheel, with the left wheel, they play the left side, uses the handoff on George Whitehead, gets that big right hand into the chest area, pushes off and propels himself over the line. Good work by David Brits. It's his third try in this year's Curry Cup. Captain of Marty's in the Varsity Cup earlier this year. He's come up to Free State to join his previous coach at Stellenbosch University, Harvey Sfuri. Pinar. 
Hook to the left from the captain, and it's just five points to nil. David Britz. Yeah, David Britz did well there. It's going with the wheel. This is what they did. They went, it was left shoulder. Ruan Pina knows to go that side. Gets on the outside of his, of the fly half for the Griquas. David Britz in for the first try within the first three, four minutes. Whitehead. The Griquas not going to meet the jumper as he receives and forward goes Droste. Pinar and the cheetahs full of running early on. Will they clear now? They do. Dlomachis. The Greek was field through Whitehead and that's off to Davids. Ashland Davids. Suffers a big hit. Hungra. Whitehead. Wise not to throw that ball as the cheetahs defense was rushing up. Tough pass from Hungra. Moving forward is Mpoli. Greek was finding some momentum of their own. Davids beats the tackle of Yar, but cannot keep his feet. Hungara somehow beating that rushing defense of the Cheetahs by holding the ball just slightly longer. Irach the Yachar goes forward, and the Cheetahs finally having to do some defending after controlling the ball for the opening minutes. Yeah, real good continu continuity there from the Tafalaga Griquas. And Disa Ntsila, the man that's been penalized. It's an area here that the referees have been instructed to clean the breakdown. He wasn't supporting his own body weight. He was on the ground, slowing the ball down. He gets penalized. And they're trying to do that to get the ball flowing. If you can get a clean breakdown, if you can get quick recycle of the ball, the whole game opens up and it's a better spectacle. Okay. One of the areas that the referees have been targeting and possible reason why we've had these high scoring games because they've allowed the game to flow. They've cleaned that area up at ruck time. 20 seconds left. Whitehead, right over it goes from the Bloemfontein born and number 10 for the Greek was. Yeah, Bloemfontein born and he's played a couple of games for the Cheetahs as well. Having a really good season for the Tafalaga Greek was at the moment, George Whitehead. Steering the ship, scoring points. That's his 113th of the season in Curry Cup. Lomachis, Cheetah's hearing after this again. Droste arrives in time as well. The Greek was under pressure. They get an advantage for the knock-on. Which means they can try their hand at something fancy here. Whitehead hoofs it downfield and Blomachis will have the chance to counter-attack, which may spell danger. This is Blomachis' favorite thing to do, running at broken defenses, but nothing broken about that Greek was line. And a penalty advantage for the height of the challenge as well. Masuku off to Yar. Loses his footing. Pinar. Nzila. Pinar again. Fortein. Been rotating with Brendan Thompson in the number 10 jersey for the Cheetahs. As we go back for the penalty advantage. Number five. Stefan Valimsa, the man that's been penalized from the Griquas team. We saw a similar field position for the Tafalaga Griquas. They took the three points. Ron Pena says, no, we'll bang that into touch and go for the try. Lomikis brings it up to the line. It tackles just above the line of that shoulder. There it is there. And he gets penalized for it. Almost following Sekakete through that gap. And the result, a line out five meters out. Marnus van der Merwe. Dummy from Trusty at the front. And now they set the rolling wall from the four ball. And Tsila breaking away immediately again. Interesting call that. Trying for the deception play instead of the driving wall, really. Here's van der Merwe. Pinar. Tokomela! 
were some grass cutting challenges. He's hopped over. All eagle though. And now Fortain sends it wide to Blomachies. Drop in the corner. No doubt about it. Craig Berry dots it down. No, we played on try. No. I was wondering if he was going to go back for that pass, Griffin Colby, just to go and have a look. Don't pull back. He seems happy. Quick recycling of the ball again there from the Toyota Cheetahs. One thing that they are getting is nice width from the breakdown to first receiver. Here's that cross cut to tackle. Julian Pocamela comes and dives, jumps right over the top. The, even if those players were trying to grab his legs, he was there one minute and he disappeared the next. Clayton Blomicki with the offload to Craig Barry. Simpler effort for Ruan Pinar this time around, and he obliges with the extra two. Tries galore in Bloemfontein as usual. Now it's the quick recycling of the ball. Even this ball here goes over the top, jumps over the tacklers. One, two seconds, and the ball is out. Into the back's hands. Clayton Blomakis, too much experience, knows exactly what to do in that situation. Draws the man, passes and releases Craig Barry into the space. Sending it high, it wouldn't cater after this, he'll get close. Pressure on Fortein, what a hit on Davis! Oh, that is crunching stuff from Andre Smith, and on we go. Marnas van der Merwe tries one out the back of the hand, and Nsila does exceedingly well to bring a cool head to the situation, and wins a side of penalty. Well, there's a man that put the hit, grimacing as he's seen his hard work undone, perhaps by himself. That's the man there, Audrey Smith. Massive hit that he puts in, but there was no clear release. He stayed on the player. And the refs have been very strict with that. Very strict indeed. This is the hit there, bang, and he comes. You're going nowhere, 120 kgs. Like a rock, he was not gonna be moved. Lovely stuff. Down off the top from the Cheetahs. Ruan Pinar off to Fortein. Big hits in the middle as that ball was juggled. Gideon van der Merwe. An absolutely tireless loose forward. He'll never stop hitting rucks. What a knock on. Now, just on Gideon van der Merwe, just so good to see him back out on the pitch. That game against the Lions, a couple of weeks ago, he got absolutely bent backwards. And it's amazing how his knee withstood the load and he's still back out there out on the field. Very well prepared and in great fitness as Kirion van der Merwe. Ashlyn Davids for the Greek was as well. Spent a few matches out after taking a very unfortunate swinging forearm in a tackle. Left the field on a stretcher, great to see him back in the 15. But this Greek was side, they get through a lot of work, not as much rotation for obvious reasons as the Cheetahs, the Bulls and the other big unions. They have to lean heavily on their players like Stienkamp. I mean, he's played almost every minute. Bye. Ooh. Sit. George Whitehead, another example of that, Warren. 100%, they don't quite have the same depth in personnel. The referees in this sector at scrum time are looking for stability. They're not looking, they don't want to see movement. And there was far too, mo too much movement there. Down it goes. We spoke about it before and there's been a bit of rain about here in Bloemfontein and the conditions are heavy. And that turf could get cut up. Possession of 31%, Griquas need to push that number up. Fine. Sit! Steady now. Under the watchful eye of Griffin Colby, things go wrong again. And this young prop, Cameron Dawson, who did so well against the Lions, against the experienced Ruan Dreyer, has a penalty against him here this afternoon.
very big kick that putting the Greek was in an attacking position now yeah, penalty effort on, on the far side between Mkoli and Dawson Griegos will be very focused on getting the set piece right. Guys, just adjust one number out, please. Out, one number. It's, it's just so much frustration when you've already begun your move, so now you've shown the dummy that you'll be throwing to your opposition. You have to change plans slightly. Outstanding work from the Griegos with the challenge up from the Cheetahs, and now the rolling mall is set well from the four ball. Perfect position, gives you space to work, not too close to the touchline. And now the cheetahs rolling around, disrupting illegally. So yes, and Ungara gets it away. Great pass that from Franca. And Ashlyn David, surrounded by cheetahs, cuts apart forward. Ungara has found some space. Whitehead early tackle on him. Somehow he still makes it there. Power from Whitehead. Advantage. Yeah, really good advantage play there by referee Griffin Colby. Superb strength shown by George Whitehead. A gaping hole in the defensive line there of the Cheetahs. I was going to comment, and I'm glad I didn't on how the Cheetahs' defense has improved, but they run away from position here. here. So they run out of position, run out for turn, and knows he's got to get to about third, fourth pillar. He runs to that position, but doesn't look inside to see that there's anyone filling the space. There's no one. So he runs out the space, leaves the hole. It's exploited straight away by Stefan Unger. A great play by the little strummy. And then there was a lot of work that needed to be done by George Whitehead to get the try and drag the man over. Good score. Well done by the Toffelaga Griquas. points belong to this man on screen George Whitehead now on defense you get drummed as to what you've got to do you've got to get into position but you can't go into the position you're meant to be if someone isn't going to replace the position you're departing from and that's what happened there there was a space and it's the beauty and the strength of a good player to pick it up on the moment hey there's space there there's an opportunity let's take it that's what the Greek was did change of plans for the kickoff from the kickoff for the Toyota Cheetahs Barry turns to the toe. That one bounces out into touch. That worked out very well for the Greek. It was great kickoff for the Cheetahs. Well, it, it, and that's what we mentioned. I mentioned that Clayton Blomick is, is exceptionally good at this kickoff. Gets lots of hang time, and he gives the hang time. It allows the Cheetahs players to get underneath the ball and make it a 50-50. And that's the beauty of a good kickoff that can be placed like that. Defensively now, Griquas have got to exit from here. Five meters from try line. And Royan finding Smith! <laughs> Try given! Marnus van der Merwe, the ultimate opportunist, pouncing on the ball over the line. More tries in Bloemfontein. Now even Harvey's Farid, the coach there, gave a big smile. He knows that that's a soft one. But you've got to be an opportunist and you've got to be out of touch. And that's what Marnus van der Merwe done. The problem here is that it's a tap ball on your line out you should never ever be tapping the ball into that in goal area brilliantly done by Marinus van der <laughs> Ungara tries to knock and paddle this on to James Veritiam can't make the contact and van der Merwe gets in Ruan Pina. 
successful again. It's 19 points to 10, four tries in the opening 20 minutes. Yeah, the top of line good because they've got Albert van den Berg as their line-out forward, or their, their, their coach. He's one of the best in the business. And he would tell these guys, never, ever tap that ball down into your in-goal area like that. Get two hands up, take it down cleanly. You can't transfer all that kind of pressure onto your scrum off. The Greek was kicking slightly shorter as well, but John thrust it, getting flung up into the air. All legal this is, Keita. He's on the ball. And now he must leave it. Really unusual situation developing at the back of that impromptu mall. Pinar. Look for crash ball here. Davis with the responsibility. And once more, hunting him down is Andre Smith in the fourth for Griquas. He's put in a few big hits. He'll be disappointed that his tap back resulted in a try against the Griquas. Ashland Davids in the air, perfectly timed by one and all. Brilliant. Away by Ungara. Numbers. Willemsa tries to get it wide. Ferry TM taps it on. And here is Gideon van der Merwe. Van der Merwe, a serious athlete he is. Gideon van der Merwe brought down by Pinar. Ungara. There are numbers galore at depth out wide for the Greek was Whitehead gives it on to Davids. Davids takes the gap on his own. Davids now finds a way to get the ball away. And it's yet another try here in the first half. Chris Hollis crosses the line for the Greek was. Just have a word to them with the offsides, please. Superb stuff here from the Greek was showing that they are equally adept at spinning the ball, getting with, putting players into space, exposing forwards that are out in the back line and getting nifty runners to offload to a centre, a big centre at 1 metre 92, 107 kgs on the drift there from Ashland Davids. He did so well to Ashland Davids to get the offload, create the space and give the opportunity to Chris Hollis to go in and score. This is how Cheetah's games end up getting to 44 points all. Always a high scoring affair when you're watching the side from Bloemfontein. strike from Whitehead this one will not have the requisite swing it remains 19 points to 15. Now Scott Batty the head coach knows his team will never lie down defensively Charles straight under the defense coach with shadow cheaters would not be happy with this sucked in two three players players drifting out of channel not holding their shape exploited there by the runners and the angles that were chosen by the Griquas players Cheetahs go deep again, mixing up their restarts. Second number five to slow, running away. Penalty advantage to Griquas. Just the chip and go, seeing if this works out. Veriem is after it, but he is under it. He puts it to the toe again. Father running away. That's a good call from Griffin Colby. I think Ungara was in front of the kick. Five in four. That's James Veriem. He was up with the, originally with the Tafalaga Griquas, went up to the Bulls. Just been released during the week because they've had a couple of injuries here at the Griquas. So he's come down to offer a little bit of cover and great to see him getting some game quick, time. Yeah. Take up by yeah, Sergio. Again, I've mentioned the fact that the player's got to make a clear attempt to, to roll away and get out of that position. None made unless he gets penalised. Nine. Whitehead looking for touch. It will be a Greek was feed to the line out. He's always heavily involved as uh, George Whitehead. Accumulates points, distributes. He's got a good boot on him. Better line out this time from the Greek was driven immediately. Ruan Stienkamp captain of his side but the Greek was fine momentum all the same 
and breaking away, Stefan Willemse. Ungera, that's a flat ball right there to the hard running Jonathan Franke. Ungera looks for the big boys this time, and Mkwali takes it to ground. Quick ruck, looking for a gap again, Ungera, but the knock has come, increasing the tempo, but the hands fail them in the end. I yeah, love that flat ball to Jonathan Franke, so good on the advantage line, sets a target for the forwards to run around and support. Unfortunately, Eric Diaga just gets a little ahead here. Ball gets delivered behind him, he can't pull it back in. Okay. I think he's expecting it quicker from Ungara. Right. Ungara took a step or two before he delivered. Left side, Stronger left side, please, okay, both who sets. Let's go. The ball? Yeah, I will. He's, got a, he's responsible for that. He's got to work off with the space, but he's responsible for that, okay. Yeah, but don't close the gap, so. okay. Look! Crouch! Bye! Boo! Sit! Much better work from both sides. Well, I've cursed it. But the ball's at the back and on we play. Pinar gets it away to Blomichis. Almost finding a gap, so dangerous. Davis. He's been doing the hard work for Cheetahs all season in that number eight jersey. Masuku, David Brutz now running from depth to Cheetahs, but being met in defense by the Greek was that hefty number 13, Chris Hollis, putting in a big hit. Seke Kete breaks through. Very well done by Davis, but he's passed it straight off to Ferdiam. There will be no catching this man. All the way in for the try. He's been to the force. He's been to the Brumbies, but he's back home in South Africa. Born in Kronstadt and now turning out for the Greekers who strike again. <laughs> and he loves a visit to the try line. James Ferdiam. Against the runner play, it has to be said. The break there from Victor Sekakete into open space, numbers all over. Unfortunately, did not get that pass right. Aiden Davis tried to pass whilst he has been tackled in full extension. So the accuracy of the deliverance of this ball is not what he would want. Poached and pounced upon by James Veritiam, and he's got a smile on his face already. He knows he's in for a try. Now welcome back to the Trafal Lager, Griquiz, James Veritiam. Great spirit at the Griquiz, even as Stefan Ungra looked to tap that loose ball that was knocked back behind the line that resulted in the Cheetahs try. You saw a smile on the face. They play this game with joy in their hearts. George Whitehead. Oh, just taking his time, making sure he uses up as much of the clock as possible. Waited for the medic to arrive so he can get one more sip of water. And over it goes. Now it doesn't matter how the tries are scored, they all still count. There was a tick. Tiara Cheetahs. Stri defense stretched for the Tafalaga Griquas. And from there, you've got absolutely no price. He's going to get in every single day. Well, James Veritiam runs in unopposed, untouched for the third try for the Tafel Lager Griquas. They continue to mix it up from the kickoff and again it's successful for the Cheetahs. They don't come up with possession this time but the disruption will be unsettling their opposition. Hunger sends it away to Alandre van der Rooyen. Use it. Cautiously and rightly so the Griquas finally got a hold of the lead and they want to clutch onto that. Barry. Regularly a fullback when he played at Marty's for all those years. Manages to secure somehow. Blomichis away. Fortein out to Masuku. Running out of numbers and shifting across field. Been out. Might have just slipped up over onto the neck of Aranos Kutsia. And it ends in a... Spilling of the ball, and it will be a fee to the scrum for the Greek was disappointing for the cheetahs. But there's some free running rugby going on here today. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There certainly is, and just a little knock there catches a boot, and a little knock on there from Ruan Pinot. Let's give him the same height. And the frustration for the captain. Especially this side. 
and they're getting opportunity and they've got numbers here do the cheaters and a big problem with South African defence often is we drift towards the touchline all this attack is drifting towards the touchline and it makes it easy for the defence because the defence can also hold the inside line and just drift and use the touchline one of those cheaters players needed to straighten that line just to fix the defence and plant the defence from the Greek was fine Keep it up, go, 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 Further instability in the front row. It has been a feature of this match thus far, but Warren, you did say that perhaps the field's been compromised by the heavy rainfall over the past few days. Sorry. Yeah, lots of chat out there at the moment. Eric Diago coming a lot under a bit of pressure at the moment from Cameron Dawson. There's a real there's a real battle between the loose head and the tight head for the Tolfalaga Griquis. The loose head for the cheaters and the tight head for the Griquis. Crouch. Fine. Holding up just fine this time. Ungaro gets it away. Whitehead flat ball to Keita. That's forward. <laughs> it was massively forward. And Griffin Colby was in the perfect position to see it. Called it immediately. Even Edwin Keita's got a big smile on his face. This is it, yeah. yeah unfortunately, he fixed his eyes on a target that was in front. And he put the ball exactly where his eyes were, George Whitehead. Another scrum to test the surface. Yeah, and he knows it. Look at the big smile on his face. <laughs> Absolutely no complaints. Much better. Coach! Oh, here come the cheaters now, keeping the ball in at the back, and wisely so, Davis. Penalty advantage has come. He would do well to break away now. And the cheaters can roll the dice on one. Extravagant play. Fortein off to Masuku. Wide it goes to Blomachis. Through for Craig Berry. He'll do well to get there. Kater spills it. This is a bad advantage. And that is an advantage, advantage, Warren. That's a big advantage. Now, yeah, massive advantage, five meter scrum. With a nice little blind side to work on yeah. as well. Edwin yeah. Kater, he's disappointed in that. A little grabber kick came through from Clayton Blomikis. There's a little question finder. Testing the defence, the eyes from Edwin Cater came up. He looked at the defence instead of focusing on the ball. All right, thanks. Let's go, well, he's off up. to Sharks. He's been contracted to go join the Sharks Let's after go. the Curry Cup. That is debut for the Griquas back in 2019. Not a bad place to be signing up for right now. The Sharks—they're looking good for the URC. <laughs> Too much. So we'll have some running repairs. And it's Barry who's bleeding profusely. Uh, when the backs get mixing and up front with the forwards, this is what tends to happen. I don't know what they're doing there, Warren. Yeah, obviously, just a little bit of a clash there with uh, Craig Barry. Nothing too serious, but great field position here for the Tiara Cheaters that want to make it count. You know, Warren. Looking at the condition of the surface, just on a side note, only in Bloemfontein would you say there's been some rain and therefore the grass will be worse than it was before. Anywhere else in the world you'd say the grass will be greener. But somehow it's become difficult underfoot for the scrum. Yeah, it has, but these players have got to be able to adapt and uh, you need, as a, especially as a forward, you've got to bring, up, bring the backup boots with the extra long sprigs that you can put in, which you would... Uh, would assume all these players, especially in the, in the tight forwards and the, and the eight, would have applied. I'm sure you can testify to the fact that 
This is nothing compared to the toughness of the Greekos field. <laughs> exactly. Much better. Give him the same height, please. Yeah. And that's, uh, that tells the story there. All the action areas predominantly in the in the Griquas half. 43% in that halfway to 22 zone. Coach! Bye. Keep it up. It's holding up. And this is it for the Toyota Cheetahs. Utterly dominant at scrum time now. They won't get the immediate penalty. But the writing's on the wall. Yeah, with scrum dominance, and that's what we're starting to see here a little bit from the Cheetahs. Gives the ability to determine and dictate where the play is going to play, be played. Choose your shoulder. Could see a Fundamata and Dawson in that front row for the Tiara Cheetahs. Crouch. Bye. Pooh! Set. It's just about enough stability to call the set for Griffin Colby and the Toyota Cheetahs will be looking to repeat the dose. It pops up in the front again. Interesting to see which way the referee goes this time. Pinar gets it away and wow. That speaks for itself what's happened there. Strum advantage to Greek was they come up with the ball. Gideon van der Merwe. Lack of clinicality here in the final 10 minutes of the first half. If you can believe that, the time has flown by. Angra is whitehead in position for a clearance. But he'll take the responsibility on himself. Barry underneath this, but it will be safely into touch. Outstanding work. Another visual demonstration of the character in this Griquas team. You think they're in trouble, but they man up, they front up, and they stand up. Much better scrum there from them. Managed to get the turnover and relieve that pressure situation. That's how they found their way to wins over the Free State, Western Province, and the Lions in this year's Curry Cup. She just smarting from that loss. Their first game of the season, round two of the Curry Cup. To the back of the line out, slapped back onto the Greek was side. Veritiam under pressure from Mtsila. Finds a way forward. Prosti lying all over the ball, and the Greek was had the penalty advantage. George Whitehead launches it downfield. Oh, the cheetahs really hamstringing themselves here in the closing moments of the first half. Oh, very important. If you're going to make the tackle and you can come in, you make a tackle. No problem with the tackle here. Goes down, does Jean Drosti. But now he lies on that player. He's got to make a concerted and visible show and picture to the ref that he's running away. His hands are still bound to James Veritiam. He has no stage has tried to roll away and he'll get penalised all day. It's an area that the refs have been told to focus on and look for. Yes, yeah, Solomon, that you'll see the player continue to bind to the legs on the ground. Usually they'll be waving their arms around, trying to make a show to the referee that they've tried their best, but the opposition is deliberately pinning them in the ruck. The dark arts continue. Quick feed to the line out. Clever stuff from the Greek was. Referee's back was turned to it, and forward we go with Franca. Angara. Kirien van der Merwe. They've got the cheaters on the run. Whitehead, Sergil now surging into space. Andrew Sergil needs to go himself, and yes, he does. What a try from the number seven. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful from Hunro Sergil. They're going to love it there. Albert Vandenberg, Scott Matthew. He was looking to pass it. Perhaps that was half the secret because the players kept standing off him. They weren't coming to come and take him down. Nice quick recycle of the ball. Gets into the hands of the big loose forward. He sees that there's a big tight head prop. He says, I'll back myself. He goes, he goes, and he goes all the way. Hunro Sergil. A real delight. 
We see them playing for Tucson Varsity Cup Rugby. Another one of these Varsity Cup Rugby players that has been dragged through, coming through into the Curry Cup system. Product of East London, Andrew Sergil, attended Glens. And George Whitehead, the grey college boy, lines up another conversion. Whitehead trying to call that one again, and this time he's got it right. Oh, entertainment is always at hand here at Toyota Stadium. Yeah, when you back up on a penalty, get field position, you get quick recycle of the ball, and then you expose a fast uh, loose forward up against a tight forward. It's the secret of the game. You try to get a mismatch, you try to get pace against someone who's heavily built, can't move laterally, and then you try to expose them. Another change of direction from the Cheetahs from the kickoff. This time they send it deep, trailing by 10 points now. Somehow, some way, Sekakete affects the tackle. Plenty of options for Angara. Waits for them to organize themselves into a pod surrounding Maxim Kali. And taking their time, rightly so. Less than 15 seconds to play. Sergio. Angara popping it blind. Greek was playing a dangerous game, but playing it well. Waiting for that hooter to sound. Angara in consultation with Griffin Colby. And now, as the hooter sounds, you can say that is perfectly played by the Greek was of Kimberley. And these brave players. In the bow blow, jogging off to half time with a steady lead over the Toyota Cheetahs. Ten points separate the sides, four tries to three in the first 40 minutes. Do not go anywhere. We've got plenty more Curry Cup action coming your way in this match and later. Up to 26, still got two games to go. There's enough. There's enough room in this competition still to move around. It's a really jam-packed or jam or congested uh, log. And there's everything to play for, for all, both these teams. The Tafel log at Griquas get a victory here. It's really going to propel them up. They've got two home games left. They've got Western Province next week and then the Pumas at home. And it sets them up well as well. Also, Western Province, the Lions and the Pumas would all be pulling for the Cheetahs here to make sure that the Greek was done getting the extra points to keep that fourth spot as wide open as possible. Do not go anywhere because the World of Champions is bringing you that Western Province Lions match just after this broadcast. Yeah, and it's, it is. It's, it's a really exciting Curry Cup at the moment. Lots of tries being scored. Referees out there trying to speed the game up, trying to create space, clean the game up, and allow for tries to be scored. And tries there shall be. The Greek was to get us restarted. George Whitehead. Cater after this one. Looks very well placed and the cheetahs allow it to bounce. Somehow Davis comes up with the goods. And both sides have been putting in challenging kickoffs. And that's Bernardo who's come off the bench. Pivotal lock for this side. Brilliant in the lineouts and in the open play. It will be a benefit to the cheetahs to have him on the field. Great clearance as well. I'm just looking, it looks like John Drosti is the guy that has departed. Victor Sikiketa is still on the field. René Bernardo is on in jersey number 19, the big guy. Shadowai going for a shorter line out, six man line out. Gideon van der Merwe standing in amongst the backs for the Tafelaga Griquas. To their captain at the front, Ruan Stienkamp. Ooh, very dangerous stuff. Whitehead kicks it on. Hollis has to hold on desperately. And a knock-on has arrived in the midst of that. Warren, I've noticed another change for the Cheetahs. Big one. Fortain has gone from the field. I'm seeing Tian Mayer has come on. And it looks like Ruan Pinar might have slipped into the fly-half position. Yeah, I remember we saw him in fly-half against the British and Irish Lions back in 2009. Ruan Pinar is a very talented player. 
this the accuracy not there and we've seen this from both sides at times wanting to strike and unfortunately getting it all wrong Crouch. Solid set. Something use. which both sides struggled to come by in the first half. Popping up at the front, Jan Mayer has been told to use it. Here's David Brutz on the blind. Broke through a whitehead tackle for the opening try of the game. Keita with the turnover. Brilliant Steenkamp. It's away to Arbenzer. Franca rather. Now moving Gideon van der Merwe. Almost finding a half gap. Angra. Hunger returns to the box kick to clear their lines. Verity M after this. Blomich is underneath. My goodness, that's a big hit. Play on is the call. Jonathan Franca. Drop shoulder there. Hopefully it was on the shoulder line. Ruan Pina. Away to Yar. Mayer. Pinar away to Blomichis, unaffected by that big hit on him, and he gets sent backwards again by Stefan Willemse. Mayer, Aranos Kutsia, Namibian international, carries it forward and forward again by Marnas van der Merwe. What a player he is in the hooker position for the cheaters. Pinar. Advantage, right, Deco. 12. 12. All right. Contribution by the Jonathan Franco, the man that's been penalised, he made that hit on Clayton Romickies. Clayton Romickies would go on to receive another, another big hit from Willemse. Just showing how tough and durable the number 15 is for the Teoda Cheetahs. Great kick there from Ron Pino, the old banana kick. Love to see it. And here is Blomichis. Now in the wars. But such a creative player. Takes it expertly out the air, gets big in the air, bang, gets smashed there. Not too much in that tackle, really. It was around the chest region from Franca. Deemed legal and on we played. The Cheetahs now getting driven back at their own rolling mall. And they give up on getting momentum there. Mayer away to Masuku. Half breaks the tackle of Whitehead. Pinar waiting for the looping run of Barry. Not coming at any great pace. He does well to set the rack. Van der Merwe, Bernardo, Seke Kete there to clear, but the steal is better from Angara. Half fives all around. We saw Edwin Kete get a steal. Now we see Stefan Angara. Big smiles, big spirit in this Tafalaga Griquis team. And the real issue there for the Teoda Cheetahs is they just weren't sending enough numbers to the ruck. They had one, one, one player going to clean it out. All the rest standing back waiting for the ball. On the floor. On the floor. Step, step. And the Greek was spotting it immediately, sending numbers in. Here's Angara. Goes down. Only got Victor Sikaketa trying to clean him out. He's able to hold his ground, hold his position and win the penalty. Van Royen head to the back of the line out well executed to Adre Smith and now cutting back on the angle is Jonathan Franca Franca into space he'll now have to use his options well Yar brings him to ground clean ball for the Greek was diving in it's a coach killer you know spotting some space Greek was slow to retreat and Keita must watch this fly over the touchline. That is Springbok experience. Yeah, and take it quickly. Lovely ball here for Jonathan Franca. Runs into this, into the vacuum, into that space. Busts through it. Unfortunately, had a bit tight head prop. They were trying to support him. He couldn't play him. Goes down and then here, players take. They like crash landing aeroplanes. They're coming down and they're going to ground instead of taking off. And because of that, they will get penalized every single time. Coach killer, that one. 
legend of Northwest University's rugby scene, Gideon van der Merwe. Sekakete receives with the four ball. Mayor of the Pinar Masuku takes it to the line. Here's Mayor. Dummy for van der Merwe. Bernardo. Cheetahs making progress with ball in hand. Looked like it was one for Sekakete, but van der Merwe takes it. Mayor to Pinar, some numbers on the outside. David Britz, he finds Masuku, Masuku to Yar. They're well covered. Mayor with some options. Looks for Bernardo with the fresher legs, then Seke Kete. No, he's out there, visible. It's own player. Seeking a turnover. There is Gideon. No, that is another solid effort by Andre Smith. Blomachi sends it wide to Junior Pocomela. The inside ball to Berry. Dancing into touch. Very flat pass as well. The Cheetahs enterprising in the opening 10 minutes of the second half. Already we've seen the impact of uh, Ron Pina in that number 10 jersey. Just his option taking hit. The time that he seems to have on the ball. And the accuracy of pass as well. This pass here from Blomachi is brilliant. Gets on the outside now. This here from Pocamela was superb. On the run, on the on the advantage line for Craig Barry. Unfortunately, just up against that touch line. Pressure line out for the Greekers. Bernardo looks ready to contest. Sekeket is the one that goes up. Outstanding work from the Cheetahs to keep the pressure on. And now Tian Mayer finds Dawson, the young prop. Chopped down. Mayer again, and now Ruan Pinar has runners at pace. Clayton Blomachies looking to find the hard running David Britz, but the pass is forward from the facilitator of the Free State Cheetahs. Yeah. Yeah, disappointment there for Clayton Blomachies and the Cheetahs. They did so well there at the line out time. Okay, Five meters from try line, they put pods up. They forced and only gave the cheetahs really that back option. They went for it and unable to okay. make it, and they poached that ball. That's the forward pass from Blomikis. He knows it was a real opportunity. Born in Paul, Clayton Blomikis attended New Orleans Secondary School which features in the other enormous Paul Derby that is usually an annual affair. No, yeah, he's an elder statesman of this uh, Cheetahs team, played over 100 games for the Cheetahs, been for the SA7s, the Bulls, Scarlets, Leicester overseas in England. Bye. Barbarians. Whoa. He's done it all, Warren. And he's very important to this free state setup, but it does speak to the kind of game that they play that Clayton Blomich is, is such a crucial just listening to Griffin Colby explain the bind he's one of the young up and coming refs in South Africa at the moment Griffin Colby Crouch. sitting under Yaku Paper's mentorship just great to see the strides he's making Comes from a rugby family as well. Short arm from Griffin Colby. Conrad van Furen has come on in jersey at 18. He's the man that gets penalised. straight down onto the knee does Conrad from Furen straight away One, two, four. you see the, the bench from the Griquas getting utilised Johan Momsen Jaku Ace and Andrew Bierwinkel coming onto the field there's Bierwinkel in the white headgear went over to play in the American League Major League Rugby Johan Momsen and was named forward of the year of the competition which was played matches played in 2021 he made the final and lost to the LA side there. Yeah, that's the player in jersey number 19 for the Tafalaga Griquas. 
and up go the cheetahs, Sekaketa at the center of the rolling mall, Magnus van der Merwe, the tireless number two waiting in the boot, no momentum, had to dummy Griffin Colby to get that one away to Davis, never afraid to carry the ball forward, Pinar sends one deep to Blomachis, does well to evade first tackle of the unrushing Jonathan Franca. Seca Keta in position, but it goes to Bernardo. Pinar sends it wide, almost intercepted. Davis gets the pass away to Malcolm Yar. Franca is handing out the hits today. And Davis right into the heat of contact. Johan Mommsen affects his first tackle. Pinar. David Brutz sends one flying over the top. They're looking to play it fast and loose. Are the Toyota cheaters and Tzila muscling his way through the hits and a penalty comes the way of Free State. Still 10 points separate these two sides. A completely different affair than it was in the first half when there were just tries bouncing around willy-nilly. Now Ruan Pinar kicks for the corner again. Yeah, just so much more accuracy from, from the cheaters. The player's not riding away, slowing that ball down and not coming through the gate. Cheetahs in that strike zone region again. Sikiketa could be a target. And he is at the front of the line out. Victor Sikiketa takes a gain. They do have a good lean going on towards the touchline. It's fallen loose out the back. Did Dion Mayer control that without knocking the ball on? On we go. Well, the rolling mall has left plenty to be desired. This afternoon, the Toyota Cheetahs, and now they'll pick and go and pop away, try to power their way through this Greekwas defense, which has been stalwart on many occasions this season. Indeed, it's what they've built their lock position on. Seke Keita carries. Mayor waits. Van der Merwe is ready to receive. Manus Van der Merwe to ground again, keeping it simple, keeping it tight to the Cheetahs now. So close to the line. If not a try, they'll wait for that penalty advantage as they move forward centimeter by centimeter. And again, it's their hooker, Manus van der Merwe. Pinar waits, no real numbers in the back line for the cheaters, so the tactics are clear. They're gonna rumble this one over, over one way or another. Tired bodies now, surely after nine phases of crashing into the faces of the defenses. And it again, Tian Mayer looking for quick ball as there were some minor gaps in the defense. And now Mayer sends it away to Pinar. Craig Berry over the top to Yar. It was inaccurate, ineffective, and it ends out in touch. That's going to be a real confidence ball done. For the Tafel Lager, Greek was defended resolutely around those fringes. Stop. Stop me, and the Cheetahs try to get this ball out wide. This big ball here from Craig Berry. Too much gas, too much heat over the over the sideline. Stop, done. You can go. And really just trying to push it wide instead of fixing a couple of defenders sure. and creating a bit of space as we see Aluluta Chakweni has come on as has uh, Louis van der Westhuizen in jersey number 16. Known as Chucky van der Westhuizen in his days with the Pukka. Now known as the Eagles of Northwest University. Look at those numbers there, Warren. Now, 59 tackles asked of the Cheetahs. 74. The 10 missed by the Cheetahs is a problem. When you look at it, the percentage of overall tackles made or asked to make. Young Kuais, young star for Blue Bulls Rugby, throws into his first line out and it is stolen, but man over the ball for the Greek was, they should have a turnover here and they do. Ungara sends one flying. No real chases in position because the one Greek player that was on the chase was offsides. Pinar off to Barry. Masuku. Penalty to the Greek was. Wow, look at the joy on Ashton David's face as though they've won the match. They're feeling it out here, Warren. Oh, it's what the game's all about. You want to be out there enjoying yourself, playing with your mates, 
celebrating the small little victories that happen on the rugby pitch. They lost the line-out. They, should have no, they had no rights to get their ball back, but they did. They turned it around, won a penalty, get downtown. And now George Whitehead has said, you know what, we've had so little of this ball in the second half. We haven't applied any pressure. Why don't we just poach and take a little three-pointer and sneak over 30? In comes the tackle from James Verity. And superb. Kylian van der comes in, got all kinds of rights there. Comes in in the legal side, tries to play the ball. And wins the side the penalty. He's had a big game as Kylian van der Incredibly fit for his size. as Gideon van der Merwe. He's won a crucial turnover for his side. Ten points still separating the two sides, just as it was as they went into the half. 55 metres, tough kick. And just, it's away. Uh, just shaves the left hand upright. <laughs> Blomichis, he's got license, no matter where he is on the field. And they start their counter-attack from their own try line. Pokomana throws a speculator onto the inside, directly onto the toe from Blomichis, and now under pressure, Ungara, hunted by Antila. Yes, it was. Fair enough. And the Greekers will breathe a sigh of relief. Now that's the joy that Clayton Blomichis can bring. When he gets it right, he sets his team away. And that's how quick it can change. One minute you're going for three points, the next minute you're trying to defend in your own 22. Andre Skitter, big Andre Skitter has also come on, 132 kgs. This is a junior Pocomelo, this pass here, well, that one there, that's clearly, clearly forward. That's Skitter. Played for the Falcon. That's in the east of Johannesburg. Andrew Beer van Kalan as well. Another Tux product. Another product of the Varsity Cup. Set. Bye. Set. Now it's slip on the mark. Slip on the mark. Slip All the sorts of movement going on before the set. Yeah. It has not been easy this yeah, afternoon, come evening. Just safety. Yeah. Chakweni in that loose head position for the Tiara Cheetahs. He's up against Andre Skitter. Yep. That's Chakweni. Yep. You want the space? Work, work, work with the space. Amazing, no points scored in the second half yet. It's been unmitigated chaos at scrum time. And the ground cannot be blamed for all of the problems. No, you can't. You're going to get far worse. You know, the stadiums around the world, I can tell you. They'll take the penalty, the Griquas. Bang this downfield from George Whitehead and look to launch. I mean, Warren, for the Griquas, everything is going perfectly. Well, they've only had 12% of the possession in the second half, so they haven't had much ball, but now they're getting the penalties, getting a little bit of field position. Need to make it count. In on the angle, feet go out, and Chakrini's the man penalised. If they can find a way to score next, the Griquas will truly... Have the home side, the Soyotsu Cheetahs sweating. Four ball, Seke Kertes up again. And it's Louis van der Vestesen who secures the ball for the home team. Chakwini. Good leg drive. Just setting the Cheetahs slightly further away from the touchline, giving them more options, more space to kick into touch or kick downfield. Tian Mayer looks like he'll be taking the responsibility of clearing the ball. Berry's after it. And Ferry DM. Elusive runner that he is. Well tackled by Bernardo. Sergil. Driven backwards by Aiden Davis. Hunger. Andrew Pierfunkel. Drops his head and moves forward into the defensive line of the Free Staters. 
Angara now over the top. Who's after this? Veritiam. Clayton Blomachies is lining it up. He'll have to do well, and well he does. First man beaten. Gets it off to Barry. But the Greek was continue to play in the right areas of the pitch. Whether they have the ball or not. And a dominant tackle into touch. Tian Mayer seems to have accepted that. And it will be another line out to the Greek was 20 minutes left to play. Yeah, decision making. Just going that short side there wasn't the correct option. Gets bundled out into touch. There runs straight into a cul-de-sac. Straight into the arms of Yanka Ayes. Who gladly will drive him out and into touch. The line has been a problem now for the Tafalaga Greek because they've lost a couple back-to-back -back line outs. When you get field position like this, you want to strike from this set piece, but they're struggling to get it cleanly and on their own terms at the moment. This time they get in front of Seca Kete, tired of seeing him tapping the ball back onto the Toyota Cheetah side. Rainier Bernardo legally in there. Did he legally collapse that mall though? And now away from Angara. Vertiem. Vertiem almost finding a way through. Angra. Andrew Bierwunkel. Happy to carry ever since he's come onto the field. And now piling into that ruck. Konrad van Fieren. The angle was just good enough. Angra. Simplifying things now. The Greek was cherishing this position which they've had so little of in the second 40 minutes. Now a short ball to Davids, who does break that first defensive line. But the covering defenders of the Free State Cheetahs are there. And a penalty advantage to the Greek was. It's all going the way of the Poblo so far. And on the outside, the try-scoring machine, Cater, takes his man on in classic fashion. Tackled the ground at Warren. It's going horribly wrong for the Toyota Cheetahs right now. Yeah, a few little errors just creeping in, getting a little bit high on tackle. 16 right offside. And eventually it would be Louis van der Westhuizen, who's got penalised for just being offside. I have no doubt that uh, Whitehead will just signal and take the three points as he's done. And we speak about that second half. 28% possession, sort of move up. It was at 12% at one stage. Just got a little bit of an early start, spotted by the referee. And brings them back for that penalty. After this, two more games to go before the semi final start for the Carling Cup, Curry Cup in 2021. How dearly would the Griquas love to be there in the mix this year? problems for George Whitehead and no surprise about that she does have it all to do 13 points now between the two teams two converted tries unanswered would do it for the cheetahs we're approaching the final 15 minutes of the match Michali Morsi hero of Wusu Walter Sisulu University secured himself a contract here at the cheetahs and onto the field he comes kickoff from the Cheetahs, it's bounced loose, powering onto it now, and in for the try, Conrad van Fieren. Striking back right from the kickoff. This match continues to provide entertainment. You reckon he's happy, Conrad van Fieren. As if he'd run 50 meters to go score that try. Well, he did. He ran from the halfway, the whole way through, not taken clearly. In he goes, he pounces upon off the shin, wins the foot race, controls the ball, and gets it, and he's absolutely delighted. Oh, A front row forward. <laughs> and from a Gricker's point of view, a real soft moment to allow it score in that manner. You work so hard for those three points, and then you give five away enough to make your head spin <laughs> the 
Juan Pinar. Off the post and over. He's got the touch. And the Cheetahs are back in the game. It's a six-pointer. Yeah, no clear communication. Not taken. Hunro Sergio thought that Stefan Valimso was going to take that ball out of the air. And by the time it hits his chest, he was too late to react. Morsi making 100% sure of that take. He is a dangerous outside, ball runner. Outside. And he carries into the Greek was defense. Seke Kete, so often dummy outside receiver again, in that first channel. Mayo, the quick ball away to Blomachis. Another great clearance from a kickoff from the Cheetahs. They have that part of the game worked out so well. George Whitehead is after this. It is well positioned, and Blomachis must rise to receive again. And his hands are excellent. He's handled all the bombs tonight very, very well, Blomakis. Mayor to Masuku. Masuku sees some space on the center of the field, but that one goes angling towards Davids, who has time to measure his kick. And Ruan Pinar has time to predict. He's there to receive. Blomachis, an option. Pinar goes himself, and he'll chase this one down. Ashlyn Davids under pressure. It's Davids and Pinar on their own. Tackle affected. Can the Greek will secure this ball? Morsi doing his all to make sure they don't. Whitehead gets it away to Andre Swartz. He's forced to improvise a kick, and he kicks it directly into touch. Did not look like it was part of the plan. Skilled runner with ball in hand, Andre Swartz, with over 36 appearances for the Greek was that not his most shining moment. And they had numbers on the left as well that he could have utilized. Now, first kick of the game for Andre Swartz, and it's not a happy one. following that one with his eyes, hoping it would change direction if he willed it so. In from Chucky van Vestazen and now with Ruan Pinar. Masuku. Tian Mayer under pressure. Off to Pinar. Blomichi is on the loop. It's Malcolm Yar. Does very well to juggle and retain. Blomichi steps into position. To fill in at halfback for one movement. Van der Best Hazen moves the cheetahs forward. Here's Blomachis. Delays the pass. As he does so well. Yard is tackled. A good read from Chris Hollis on defense. Seke Kete, this time employed in the first channel. Here's Pinar off to Blomachis. And the offload to. It's Nchakweni. Pinar on the outside now. Oh, here comes Pocomela! Try in the corner for Toyota Cheetahs. That is power play. The game's gone from a six-pointer to a one. And there's less than 12 minutes to go with the kick to come. Sumptuous, absolutely sumptuous play here from the Toyota Cheetahs. Broad smiles all around. Varying who's got that ball at first receiver. The distribution there from Ruan Pinar, absolutely beautiful. Into the hands of Junior Pacamela on the drift. And they could afford to drift at this late stage because they had the numbers, they had the space. And he was always going to have the strength to get himself in. But there were a couple of inside balls. The inside ball to Clayton Blomikis. The run from Mossi, who's made a big impact already off the bench. Lots of good in the build-up to that try. Charles Stratum, the defence coach, chatting to Harvey's Faree. For the lead, the one and only, Juan Pinar. Pinar. Well, 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 Ruan Pinar has done it again, and applause is what he deserves. A superb work there from Ruan Pinar, over 250 first-class game, showing his experience that the combination between Tian Mayer, Ruan Pinar, and Clayton Blomick, he's the three most experienced players on the pitch at the moment for the Chiara Cheetahs, taking the game by the scruff of the neck, shaking the game, making sure that they stamp their dominance, and that has been the difference in the last 10 minutes or so. The experience coming through. Deep restart from Griquas, and Morsi carries forward again. Louis van der Vestazen 
well tackled in Blomachis. You see how often the Cheetahs set up those first two quick racks and then they give the ball to Blomachis to make the clearance this time. Not earning a great deal of meterage upfield. But we have one point between the teams with less than 10 to play. And Chris Vitlukis looks like he's also come onto the pitch. <laughs> I'll tell you, this one is going to go down. We had one, one point in it, so of course it's going to go down to the wire. But it's just another one of those games. You know that the Greek are just, they're a side that will never, ever lie down. They refuse to. So they're going to bounce back. The Cheetahs are going to gonna fight as much as they can, give a bit of width. So we're going to be in for a cracking last nine minutes here in this Carling Curry Cup. Third, third to last round of the competition. Well, winding up to throw that one in was the replacement hooker, Young Ace, and it didn't go well. Craig Barry kicks downfield. He thinks he got a hit afterwards. Mayer's after this. That's a wild one, a wild one from Ardensa. And the Creek was on the retreat. This is the last thing they needed. After giving up the lead, and that's a shocker of a pass as well. Swartz must clear what is happening out there. <laughs> How to push the self-destruct button. The ball is <laughs> this so pass here from Aranya goes up, up, and a little bit further up before it gets eventually to Andre Swartz. And that was the last action and a string of actions that got them into this field position, but they survive. Well, that will be the Cheetahs throwing now at line out time. The substitution's not making the desired impact right now. Just had his hand slightly disrupted. Regan Oranya there, champion with Tuts this year in the Varsity Cup. And it's been a tough introduction for Andre Swartz as well. Missed the tackle for the try. Errant kick. Chucky van der Vestes and feeds the line out. And Seca Kete rises once more to receive. And finally for the Cheetahs, the rolling wall has some momentum. Although it may be sideways slightly. They are moving forward inch by inch. And an advantage is accrued to the Toyota Cheetahs as well. Struggling for points up until the final 10 minutes of this half. And now they seem to be flowing free. Ruan Pinot tries something out with the advantage in the bag. And surely now, Warren, they are done giving up kickable goals. Yeah, I can imagine Ruan Pinot step forward, take the three points here. Stretches the lead. Gets those seconds counting down. No, he's not. He signaled to the touchline to the to the referee. Wants to keep applying the pressure. Wants to hold. The Greek was in their half. It can be two different ways that you view it. You see, you see, taking the kick is an easy kick, uh, pressure reliever for the Greek was. You can't lift the player's feet up. The feet from Victor Sikakete. Lifted right up in the air. He tells the ref. The ref knows all about it. He knows he's won the penalty. And they now have a line at five, six, seven meters from the trial line. Van der Veste is into the front this time. Straight off the top to Mayer. It's away to Chris Smith. They'll set the rack and they'll have more plans now. Van der and carries the offload. They're looking for the momentum, the speed of rack. But the ball's been turned over. A magnificent play from the Greek was... It may have been Yanko Ace. We need to get the right number on it. But that is phenomenal. At the most pivotal moment in the game with one point in it and the opposition bearing down on your try line, you reach into the fray and pull out gold. Superb. Superb. Comes in there, in that jersey number 16, Yanko Ace, the dark art. Sacrificing his body, putting his body at risk and winning his team the ball. Did remarkably well not to dot the ball down on the try line as well. He was so close to it. Bulls under 21 player of the year, 2021, young guys. Oh, this young hooker. And Stian comes left the field. The pool level replace him. Van der Hazen to Seke Kete who's been stellar in the lineup today on defense and attack. And now the Cheetahs have found a pathway forward and they are rolling with Van der Vesthazen in the back. Same mall and the Greek was must defend it. Van der Vesthazen is bound well and now he breaks free. He's looking on the inside for Davis. Not the cleanest of passes and now it's fallen loose. Wow. 
Yeah, a lot of pressure being exerted at the moment by the cheaters. It's the reason that uh, Ron Pina didn't take the three points. He wants to keep it on. He wants to keep the hand on the throat of this Griquist team. There might only be a point in it. He does not want to concede territory. Does not want to concede possession. Only if they've got the seven pointer does he want to run back to his halfway line. He's not talking to his teammates there. He's speaking to the assistant referee about not giving him that extra meter. What about this rolling mall? So well constructed by the cheaters, but this pass Warren. Yeah, and some good tackles here. That tackle there from Hunter Sturgill was a really good one to stop the cheaters. Seke Keita once more, this time at the front. The rolling mall is what they turn to. Chucky Panaveste is in weights in the back. They've moved towards the touchline far too close indeed. And Chris Smith carries forward. Look at the meters on that carry as well as they try to rip it free in the tackle. Panaveste is in, cuts back on the angle. Well, he's been great since coming onto the field. Mayer now, Seke Keita. Mayer back to the open side. Pinar, what a facilitator he is! through the clutches of Craig Berry and backwards but the Greek was live to fight another day once more less than four minutes to play and they've been camped out outside of their own try line but just give them one sniff and see what these Greek was can do the cheaters will be looking to do precisely the opposite of that and Blomichis is looking for gaps Morsi to ground now finding a gap and accelerating Konrad van Fieren, try scorer that brought this match right back into the balance. Smith now. And Ruan Pinas calls a kick for the corner. Certainly has chewed up time on the clock. We're into the final three minutes. And the Cheetahs are in full control of possession. Possession which they've dominated throughout the match. Pinar inside to Blomichis. Is that a good game as Blomichis? Very good today. Tian Mayer away to David Pritz. Pritz looking for a half gap. Smith well tackled. By Green. Well. Oh, that's all it takes. And knock on in the tackle. So unable to kick that ball through for the Griquis team. That's it there. There's the hand. It's a correct call again from Griffin Colby. Great officiating. The Cheetahs doing exactly what every coach would tell you not to do, not playing to the whistle there. As the ball was kicked through, they were waiting for the call for the knock-on and the tackle. And Griffin Colby, tired of watching the Cheetahs have a conference about how they will conduct this scrum. Eager to get them here. This has been a problem area all match, and yes, there's further instability, which is perfect for the Cheetahs. The Cheetahs are not going to complain, they're happy. Count the clock down, waste the time. Chuck Wadey, ready to pack down again, attended Hudson Park, was at the Kings from 2018 to 2020. Well, this is it. The Greek was must win a scrum penalty, or somehow get the ball back in their possession. Griffin Colby hands on on that scum to make sure the same thing doesn't happen again. The Greek was find some momentum here. Will they earn themselves a penalty? No, the penalty goes against them. And surely that's tickets for the Greek was now. One point separates the two sides. 20 seconds to play and a penalty advantage coming the way of the Toyota Cheetahs. They have nothing to worry about anymore. Somehow, someway on their home ground here against game opposition. They found the result which they needed, the result which keeps their hopes alive in this Carling Curry Cup. David Brutz on the outside now, slipping as he goes. And Andre Swartz did well not to lift that leg. And now full, full time Hurta guys in the background. Clayton Blomikis runs forward, but they've already got the bonus point. They'll get five points for the victory here, the Cheetahs.
The good thing from Agricola's point of view is that they will take two as well. Well, and one thing to think about, the Greeklers and the Cheetahs will be competing for the same spot on the log, the fourth spot or the third spot. Now, if the Greeklers score a try, they'll take themselves beyond those seven points and make sure that the Greeklers get one less. They choose against it because the danger is too great. But remember that when it comes to the final reckoning in this season, the decisions that the Cheetahs have made. But in the end here, it is the Toyota Cheetahs, the home side, that have won on their home ground. The Toyota Stadium here in Bloemfontein and on your screen, Sekekete, a standout player without question. Loyola Dapula, another product of the Varsity Cup. Johan Momsen, another product of the Varsity Cup, and Chris Smith behind him the same. So the rugby wheel continues to turn here in South Africa, and healthily so. And yet another product of the varsity competition there. Blomachis as well, who played for Tux. The list goes on. But there are your winners here this afternoon and evening. It is the home side, the Toyota Cheetahs, who find a way to victory over the Tafel Lager Greekers by 33 points to 32.